Good morning, Coldwell Academy of Arts family. I am Jaden. And I'm Camden. And this, this is, is your PAA, PAA school, school news. news. If you are an eighth grade student and plan on attending East High School, this is the message for you. Tonight is the eighth grade parent night at East at 6 p.m. at the East High School Auditorium. Find out all information about East High School. The Health Academy will be available at East High School Parent Night. Don't forget we have a four-day weekend due to the Teacher Work Day on Friday and the Pre on President's Day on Monday. On Tuesday, February 9th from 4 to 5 is the NAL party. It is located in the PAA Phoenix Room. Don't forget about the Create Your Own Dr. Seuss Character Contest. Students in grades kindergarten through 12 can draw your own Dr. Seuss character and write a brief description of one to five sentences of your own character. Participants must be residents of Pueblo County. Winners will be honored at an award ceremony on Wednesday in the Riles Room of the Rawlings Library. Entries are due February, Friday, February 26th. Why should we recycle? Several reasons exist as to why we should promote recycling. Recycling helps us to convert our old products into new useful products. In other words, it is good for the one environment. Since we are saving re re resources and are sending less trash to the landfills, it helps in reducing air and waste pollution. Recycling reduce pollution, reduce landfills, converse material, saves energy and saves money. Help save the earth and recycle. Recently we interviewed three of the Glee Club members, Elijah Guerrero, Grisito Baca, and Angelica Landeros, on their experience performing last Friday singing Stitches by Shawn Mendes. Here's what they had to say. Hi, I'm Elijah Guerrero and I'm in the seventh grade and I part uh, participate in Glee Club at the Academy of Arts. You performed here recently. How is it like being on stage? Uh, it's, it's fun. It's also very, it gets you pretty nervous with everything, everybody looking at you. Who is your inspiration to start singing? Um, my inspiration is Miss Lang because she's like my favorite teacher and um, she really inspired me to sing that kind of music. Hi, my name is Kazita Baca and I'm in sixth grade and I'm in Glee Club. You performed here recently. How do you feel being on stage? Um, I felt okay. I felt fine because my family was there and they were there to support me. And that's all that matters. Who's your inspiration? Um, an inspiration is Mr. Guy is Mr. Guys because he's fun and he's just a lot, he's just a lot of fun to be working with. My name is Angelica Landeros. I'm in 8th grade and I am in the Glee Club here in PAA. It feels wonderful performing on stage. Even though you might feel really scared, it's really pretty fun. And uh, it's amazing how the audience is just quiet and that you can actually focus. Hi, my name is Gavin Montoya, bringing this week in sports news. Our girls basketball teams will play at home tonight at 4.30 and 5.30 against Liberty Point International Middle School. Come and support girls basketball. Use your student ID to get into the game free. On Thursday, February 11th, the girls will compete against Skyview Middle School at the Skyview Gym. Represent Pueblo Academy of Arts girls. Our wrestlers will battle on Wednesday, February 10th here at PAA at 5 p.m. Come and show your support for our wrestlers. Let's not forget about our Pueblo Academy of Arts students who play indoor soccer for the Pueblo Rangers. They play at Ron Colley every Sunday. Last week, we interviewed Victor Sierra, one of our students from this soccer team. Hello, I'm Victor Sierra. I play soccer here for Pueblo Academy of Arts. How is soccer season going? Soccer season's been going good. Our teammates have been working well with each other. What is the strongest position you play? My strongest position I play is, is my main position is mid left and mid right. Who is your inspiration? My inspiration is my cousin Devin because he plays lots of sports and I wanted to get into one so I played soccer. How long have you been playing soccer? I've been playing soccer for about a year now. Any tips for any beginners? Uh, a tip is like don't be afraid to go at the ball because it's not a fear or anything. Just go right at it because it won't. What does it say? Just basically that's all. 
Last week, we interviewed our Phoenix cheerleaders, Olivia Ariano and Michaela Gomez, on how cheering and shaking a tail feather is going. Hi, my name is Olivia Ariano, and I'm a Phoenix cheerleader. So, Olivia, how long have you been cheering? I have been cheering since I was three. And is there anything that inspired you to start cheering? Um, I had always just like seen them cheering and thought it was cool, so. And since you've been cheering for a long time, have you learned anything new? Uh, yeah, lately we just started stunting, so. Oh, nice. Hi, my name is Michaela Gomez and I'm a Phoenix cheerleader. So, Michaela, how long have you been cheering? I've been cheering since I was about two and a half. I've cheered at Top Gun, I've cheered at Stunts, and I've cheered at Nagari's. And what inspired you to start cheering? Uh, my Aunt Lindsay was a cheerleader at South for four years, and I wanted to follow in her footsteps. Nice. So, Michaela, you've been cheering for a long time now. Is there anything new that you've learned? Um, yes, we've actually started stunting, and I'm really excited because um, I've been a base for a while, and I'm so excited to start again. Okay, thank you. My name is Michael J. Caboose, and I hate babies. Hello, my name is Bernard Hunt, and welcome to Toxic Reviews. Today on the cutting board is Red vs. Blue, the internet series made by Rooster Teeth. Let's get into it. Now, to start from the beginning, Red vs. Blue was made by a small company in Austin, Texas named Rooster Teeth. It started off as a five-episode series from the video game Halo, CE, that which, for all the people who aren't video game, you know, people, that stands for Combat Evolved, Halo Combat Evolved. Now, with this, they meant it just be five episodes, done. But people loved it, and they did what most people do when people love things and made seasons and seasons and seasons. Now, we just finished season 13, and it was pretty good. Now, even though the last episode of season 13 was called The End, we're pretty sure it's not the end of the series. I love this series so much because it has comedic characters that keep us in tune. My personal favorite being Caboose, and with a lot of people's being Caboose and Tucker and Sarge. The list goes on, and it has a wonderful cast that are dynamic together. Now, there are some moments where it hits you right in the feels. But it, there's moments where you'll be down on the ground laughing. I love the series, and I would go more into the story, but, you know, comment wars down below. Spoilers! Don't give us spoilers! Well, you cannot worry. You don't have to worry about those spoilers now. I give Red vs. Blue 9 out of 10 cabooses. But don't take it from me. Go watch it on Netflix. Now, we're starting a new segment here on Toxic Reviews, which is the Nerd Shirt of the Week. Now, the Nerd Shirt of this week is Vote for Vader. Oh, wait. There's a slaughter on the campaign. Now, if you guys want to show me your nerd bling or your nerd shirts, make sure to tweet at PAA underscore Phoenix using the hashtag TR Nerd Shirt. Now, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Tune in next week. My name is Jaden. And my name is Kevin. Have, Have a fabulous, fabulous, wild, and wonderful week. week.